Hi everyone, Jenny Dodansky here, Wormwise. If my young stock look all right after I've drenched them, there's no problem, right? Not necessarily. By the time you can visually see a problem in your stock after drenching, that drench will typically be leaving a lot of worms behind. On farms that have got combination drench resistance, it might not be uncommon for that drench to be only 70% effective without you being able to visually see that. The issue with this is if I treat today with a 70% effective drench, I'm going to leave 30% of the worms behind and those 30% of worms have now got a 21 day period where they will continue to breed with each other in the gut of your stock and build up numbers of worms that are then probably going to be able to survive your next routine drench. So a month or so later when I go to treat again, I've got those worms left behind and then I've got another 30% of worms that my young stock have picked up off the pasture in the meantime that I'm going to leave behind on top of what was there already. So build this up over several months through summer and autumn, um, this can really start to impact on growth rates. And it's pretty normal not to pick this up by eye. The growth rates of our young stock will tend to take a bit of a nosedive in the summer and, and autumn anyway with declining pasture quality, sometimes declining pasture availability, heat, fungal toxins in the pasture, all of these things can combine to result in poor live weight gain anyway. But then if we layer an ineffective drench in on top of that as well, it can really start to knock performance without you actually seeing sick animals. So fortunately you can prevent this situation with some simple drench checking. So that is 7 to 10 days after treating your lambs or calves for worms, collect some fresh faecal samples and send them in to be checked for the presence of parasite eggs or a faecal egg count. If the faecal egg counts are all zero at that time, then that's fantastic, as there should be. All the adult worms in the gut have been killed and so therefore there's no eggs. However, if you find eggs in your samples when you test after drenching, then it's time to get some advice about further investigating this and then making a plan to get things back on track.